Hi, it's Kelly here. In this video, we're going to talk about three major coincidences that have taken place in the last three years using what I call our Heartfelt Energizers, aka Electroculture 2.0. You may recall, oh, the screen might uh, flash in and out, whatever. This is going to be all uh, oral, so I, I need to, re I think, replace this camera of mine. But uh, just bear with me, and this information you're going to love this information. Um, back in 2020, there was a certain condition that swept the world. And when that happened, there was another condition that starts with the letter F or INF, you know, influ, you know what I'm saying? And when the, when the, the one came up 19 times higher than the other, uh, the in, the I word or the F word disappeared, right? It was like gone. And everybody thought that what happened is, is that the statisticians for the CDC and uh, WHO, the World Health Organization, just piled everything from, you know, this, this box over to this box and said, here, they're all, they're all caused by this number 19. And because how else could you explain that this happened. However, I want you to, to look at something that we haven't considered. The CDC and the WEF and all those folks, they wanted to have both striking the public at the same time because it would increase the fear factor ten times. Because no matter which way you turn, either, either 19 would get you or the F would get you. And, and this way more people would, have, would be getting shots and with more shots you have a, an increased level of, of uh, side effects we'll call them, harmful effects by having the two together. So, and in fact the CDC meticulously kept the records, the data that was reported to them from all 50 states and Puerto Rico, places like that and reported on how many cases there were. And what happened is instead of having a 25% positive incidence when the doctors would felt that it was necessary to, to uh, test for a certain viral infection, uh, like the, I'm referring to the F word here, and instead of getting a 25% positive rate, they're only get, getting down to like one-tenth of 1%. One but they were reporting them week after week after week, and they were, I'm sure, highly disappointed that they didn't have two epidemics to report at the same time, for the reasons I've already given. So what happened? Well, it was back in March when I, when I was selling products. I don't sell them anymore. Um, the Heartfelt Energizers, there was a lady, she was a nurse, 86 years old. She had purchased, it was a dozen of these Heartfelt Energizers, and we set them all. She set them all up. She's about 50 miles from here in Panama City, and as soon as she did that, the the uh, the F tracking dropped down from being a pretty good sized flu season. I see the screen's gone dark. Oh, now it's back again. Must be listening in. <laughs> so it dropped down to near nothing. And I've got a link down below that'll that'll show you that that's what happened. So that was quite a coincidence. And the flu stayed away uh, here and in, in Australia. They've disappeared for two seasons because they're in the southern hemisphere and the timing of it occurred that way. But then what happened is the lady, she was a live-in nurse, 86 years old, and the landlord slash patient of hers, uh, he didn't want to pay for the electricity, which is only $2 a month for each one. but. Uh, in any case, she had to store them away. And sure enough, the following season in the U.S., the flu started to come back. It was a milder season, but it did come back. And then in the following season, which was just this last season we got out of here in the Northern Hemisphere, the flu took off like gangbusters. And that's when I made a video on and published it on November 20th. And I'll put a link down there so you can see the date where I invited people who were using things like tensor rings and Organite if they were either making it or using it to start spinning it one way or another. 
And then you'll see starting around Thanksgiving, and I'll put a link down there for that, the CDC shows the flu starting to drop down as more people have started participating and spinning their organite and their tensor rings. It wasn't a lot of people at that time. There's only about maybe five or six hundred people watching the video, but maybe a dozen people or more responded and said they were going to do it, and I'm sure there were probably a dozen more who, who also participated and just didn't leave messages about it. But the flu came down to dramatically week after week. And uh, so that was the second coincidence. Then, oh, I guess about a month and a half ago, I invited people, with, the, with I found out about electroculture, and I invited people doing electroculture to do electroculture 2.0, which is, again, spinning these uh, multi-wave oscillator disks. And I'll have links in the bottom of this video uh, where you can get that stuff. Uh, and uh, so the, the multi-wave oscillator disks and other types of spinning, such as twisting uh, copper wire and hanging as tassels on, on ceiling fans, however you want to do it. Just get the spinning action, that's the key. And so that started about a month and a half ago, and most of the items that, that come in, they would take, a, it was about a month delay by the time you ordered and received them. Well, the last report from WHO, well, that's WHO, uh, the World Health Organization, showed that in the last two weekly period, two week period, once again, everywhere in the southern hemisphere, and that's where the flu season is right now, or was, is well, is right now supposedly, had significant drops. And I'm put, going to put a link down there. You can read them country after country, area after area, where the flu declined sharply. There were only two exceptions. That was uh, Bangladesh and Mal the Maldives. I think those are islands. They might be off of uh, India. I'm not sure. But there's like 100 countries, including Malaysia, Indonesia. One of those countries has like 350 million people. It's one of the most populated countries in the world, behind China and uh, 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 India, maybe Russia. I'm not sure how many people live in Russia. But it's about 350 million people. And their flu dropped. And the same, same with India, which is over a billion people. All these places dropped. And in the case of Bangladesh and Maldives, it, it, I don't know, maybe they had a hurricane, but their record keeping isn't always that great. So they could have re had delayed reporting, which got plugged in to show that they stayed steady or had a slight increase in the flu. But otherwise, you know, billions of people had a great reduction. Australia, you know, there's like 25 million people there, had a sharp drop. This all happened. So this was the third coincidence. As people started to get their, their multi-wave oscillator plates and what have you, all of a sudden the flu dropped down. So that's three major coincidences that have taken place, unheard of unheard of coincidence. Each one by itself is just mind-blowing. That the flu in the United States would just go away. And then, and now in half the, half the world, half the globe, where the flu season is, has gone down by so much. Twice. You know, first here in the United States where it dropped down when we were in flu season, and now when the second wave came in, when you guys became joined the handful of heroes to make all of this happen. So we are on track to really make things happen. If people want to read a little bit about different aspects of, of these electroculture 2.0, check out my book. I referred to it there, mostly as organite, tensor rings, what have you. Uh, but it's kind of fascinating to read that. It's on Amazon. Uh, get the paperback copy. It has some information on the back that I think you'll find to be extraordinary. Plus, uh, all that stuff is bonus material in this book. In the book, Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? is fabulous for getting... If, if you ever have anything go wrong in your life, be it spilling something, uh, you know, being late, being stuck in traffic, and you, get, you start to get unbalanced, you know, wanting to honk your horn, 
or you just feel irritated, you know, because of the heat or whatever it is that's bothering you, um, this book has a, a question for you. I just made a video earlier. If you, if you subscribe, you can go to, you know, go to my channel and you can find it. But by subscribing, more people will see this information. And, and so more people will participate. So you'll be helping yourself because as more people participate, you're benefiting. So because it, as it seems like these coincidences take place all over the world, even with a small level of participation. So if we can just rank it, uh, not rank it up, but, you know, crank it up, uh, up higher, uh, it'll, it'll just be wonderful. Well, thank you for listening. Thank you for all you're doing. Thank you for ordering my book. I, you know, that, you know, helps me with my chiropractic bills due to my uh, previously broken back and uh, what have you. So you take care and God bless.